Okay, uh, King John, we've located the obelisk here at Mount Eden Survey Point. So if you can uh, address us, I'll read the, uh, what the plaque says. This obelisk was first erected by Stevenson Percy Smith, Chief Geodetic Surveyor, on the 17th day of August, 1872, as initial station for the triangulation of the Auckland Province instituted by Captain Theophilus Healy, Inspector of Surveyors. And it's underscored Prudence Futuri. And the second plaque reads, May this obelisk re-erected in, in 1933 serve as a memorial to the pioneer surveyors who played so worthy a part in the transformation of a wilderness into the smiling land which lies before you for the work continuous great beyond their knowing. So could you set, shed some light on your knowing? Okay. Uh, I appreciate that King John. Okay so I'll, I'll pull back some of the history. I put all the uh, that together from the chiefs uh, over a period of time uh, since 20 years and so this uh, obelisk is a British title that uh, has got 1933 date on it when they uh, uh, first put the mortgages uh, before Queen uh, Elizabeth II's um, uh, coronation on, uh, uh, in 1952 in lead up to uh, um, uh, the, at that time, uh, uh, rearranging the land information titles to coincide with British titles that we were talking about where they, where they came in the harbour here. So these, uh, these obelisk is actually uh, the province, they're called in those days, the province uh, of Auckland, which right down to Gisborne, um, 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 east coast where I come from, as being the same as me being down there as the Manukau being here. They linked up the, the, the Wānau name of the Hutton there with the Manukau name as their title on their documents. That's why it's different than the Apui title in the north. They don't have this there. They only have 1840 of less to the Queen. That's their contract in Wellington with, uh, with uh, the government, New South Wales, Australia. But this is a British uh, land surveyors. They call them, they call them uh, uh, pioneers. But, you, uh, pioneers. Uh, but to, can, yeah. can you get into more specifics why they're saying triangulation of the Auckland province? Well, they, they, they mark out a specific area of points from here to the Kafaru chief that I put the plaque afterwards to his land at, at the Manukau uh, uh, tribal uh, uh, pa site, their, their uh, pa settlement. That's where the Manukau settled long before anybody else settled here. So the British is reading into their history as being more believable to their documents, otherwise they would have put somebody else's names on it. So they joined us at the East Coast as one title, right through, uh, right through there right through uh, um, uh, to um, Waikato and up this way up to at least Whangapuroa, halfway up north. And all that area was the greater Auckland province of a British title. Not Australia didn't call it province, only British. And the pioneers who came here and put these things up. Not that often. They had no authority to do this on native land. Only them and us. So I'm sitting here beside our title. And up there is the grave site where they dug them out and put their white chief. Uh, so that's, that, that means the, uh, their memorials are connected to our memorials to the survey mortgage layer title uh, 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 mark okay? that, 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 that matches their documents mm -hmm. uh, uh, of title to us. That's why I've got that history documented online. Uh, to, to go back to this particular date, 1933, where the uh, banks started to take off with these titles off, off these marks. Okay? You can only go on these marks originally as being to uh, 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 Um uh, Authority. Authority of the King. Okay? Sorry, the King of England. And so that trick there uh, is our uh, title mark. We can, the king can talk to you. Okay? Not the queen. The king can talk to you. He's nice. Okay? So that's 
So that's Westminster, straight to us. But different and not tall. This way. Ever. Until now. Okay? So that's what I want to say. And all the other writings on this is still pointing to legal, legal, or legalese um, uh, connection by financial interests. Banks is this. The right to use our land to make their business. Is this. That's the business plan. Okay? That's what they have survey marks on, survey plans on all these documents. Go to the bank. Is this. Right? And, and, we're, and we're at Mount Eden, one of the highest points in our, it is the, the highest yeah, point. The yes, and then we'll be going to One Tree okay. Hill, yeah. which is the second highest point. Yeah. And, yeah. And, and John will give you insight into the, the meaning of that location and the obelisk that is uh, there located. So it's part of that triangulation as well. So, yeah, yeah. That's, that's another survey. Uh, but these are the, the legal part of our land part to the native part. And this, my friends, is the part. I am talking to Cook, one last question, is the legal part of the document that anyone can so wish to challenge. And you've got the documentation to yes. legally challenge it, the yes. layer of fraudulent titles. Yes. So yep. King William will be clapping his hands right now and saying, all right, at last, someone has spoken for me. And that's all we're doing here, okay? This acknowledging King William and his Westminster of power to make things real. So that's, uh, you know, the, the other writings on it will, will uh, hinge around our documents. Okay? So, once more, the province of of Auckland is stretches from number four north of here right down to the East Coast Gidlin, so forth, and the Waikato as this one of the marks. So all through that area are those marks that pin it as the Auckland Super City boundary area inside that area, inside the title of New Zealand. Those are going to follow Cook Street. The East title will follow Cook Street land title when we're going to sort it out. So I make myself clear. On behalf of the chiefs have gone by, we've been standing up here uh, and going through the rituals of chiefs and their parasites. This is where they camp site to watch over their land. Here, there and up there at the harbour with the British camp. They came in there as being their entry point into this country. Like I was saying, the real estate company Manukau uh, Land Company from Glasgow, on behalf of the British, are the ones who put the titles together. When they go, England's in trouble because it hasn't got a copy. Scotland has got a So Scotland's talking to us about these things because that's Scotland. They are the brains behind the Marcos, not the English. The English are the brains in the court, but not the Marcos. That's an invention of the Scottish. Okay? So we have that connection from here to Britain in legal lines of title that overrides everybody in status and authority, the highest authority in the world. Okay? I'll make myself clear. Yeah? Yes, King John. Yes. Yes. Now this, you're revealing a lot yes. of, of information and kind of distinguishing uh, the Moai uh, with the King William the Fourth title and the Māori with the Queen Victoria title in yes. my yes. So, yes, we've got the female line, the male line is this. The memorial of a king, the Māori statue is a uh, same uh, 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 stone, memorial, to a time date. To a time date, to the documents, time date, right here in 1933, to today's uh, 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 means of financial instruments. Okay. Okay. So we didn't get uh, anywhere without the king's authority of borrowing money from the bank. Those survey marks give them title. 
and we have that document to link us to this document. And for clarification purposes, is this under Admiralty law? Yes. Clearly, yes. Can you define a little bit more the connection with Admiralty law with the mortgage okay. entitlement? The, the, the Admiralty law allows a ship to ship its cargo and manifest off one shore to another by King's authority of his protection from the British military through Westminster. And they set that up uh, 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 to trade with the Maoris in the old days with gold and gum and trees and uh, food uh, to uh, 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 Australia, India, America at the same time. So we had trade going on way before the treaty with the 1835, already the contract to these that they came later to these islands to strengthen our project and to trade in the modern world. Modern world? Now, uh, uh, we still go by the dates of, uh, of uh, uh, timeline to, to match up with the Queen, like I was saying. 1952 is when she became the Queen. 1933 when the mortgage started, when the racket started in her time. Right? Start to go haywire from then. More so with what we are trying to show you. We will eventually show you what happened and why we go to England. We're going there for a reason. And my people here at the Napoli say, and in the Napoli tribe say, where are you going? Uh, you haven't gone yet. Why are you still here? I said, well, we've got to find the people that can get us up here. And so we need a big hand hidden here to go and get the missing and everything about the missing and about where is the missing trust. John, and on this point, could you please turn around and point where we're the location where we're headed next, we're right to, behind you? We're going to uh, from Monaco uh, Mountain to Monaco KK. Monaco KK. One tree hill. There used to be one tree there with a gravesite on the top, with a fence, steel fence around it, with this coffin tree. And what the uh, new fellows that came in the harbour. We'll talk about yeah. that when we get so, there. Anyway, they dug his and put John Logan Campbell. You'll find that the Campbells are up north, are here, are on the east coast, and I'm going to tell you this. Uh, John Cameron's real surname is a Campbell. Check it. Check it. Jo John Cameron's yes, real name. name is a Campbell? Yes. Oh, that's what fits to King William. He, he's saying he's a descendant, but a descendant. So they have linked themselves to our title. So I'm going there to unlink the class. It's not his contract. We're not private contract. We can't come as third party. 
no, no, no. That's what happened to the third party. Please step in to stop me from dealing with the owner. Fortunately, on that land. To zero. To zero. Okay. All right. Yes, uh, as I said, it's a chess game, Da Vinci Code, and <laughs> where in the world is Waldo, I guess, <laughs> combination. So, no, this is very insightful, uh, and it will inform a lot of people so they have a better understanding and their role uh, as part of the common share it that everyone does, is entitled to. It does affect everyone in the world, especially the Commonwealth, America. And uh, uh, anybody that's using the Queen as a head of state, it affects, this affects them. What we do with Cook Street affects all land titles in the world, from Britain to Western Britain. That's why she's ran away from Western Britain, because she knows she's going to get caught when I get there. Okay? When I get there, I'm going to ask her some questions with the press and say, <coughs> we just come here to uh, check the trust, change the head of the trust, and I shall go as the head of the trust, the Queen Victoria Trust, then open the books and check the balance where and what and who is going to, all the people who support us in the world. We're the flag. And we'll be following you on that uh, when you're journeying to London as well. So thank you for thank you. letting us know uh, what your plans when you arrive in London. We'll continue this story uh, and unravel <laughs> the layers and layers of uh, hidden information. So thank you, King John. We're off to One Tree Hill. Uh, we'll see. No you tree hill. No hill. No tree. No tree. It's no, no longer. Tree. It was a one tree, one but it's now it's a no tree. No but tree. the actual uh, native name for that hill is Manga KK. Manga KK. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.